When we talk about relationships, it's hard not to mention about the popular online dating world. Did you know that in 2015, a quarter of Canadians have already tried online dating? A national survey from Match.com also revealed that 52% of single Canadians resolved to fall in love that year. And according to IBIS World, the online dating and related services in Canada has been growing by 6% per year since 2010. This shows an increasing popularity of people turning to online dating in recent years. A typical flowchart of online dating, as most of you are aware of, goes from first finding a match and initiating conversation, which is also a way to look for things in common. Then it can go both ways. Some stay in a long-term relationship online without ever meeting. According to a research done by Pew Research Center, a third of people who have tried online dating have never actually gone on a date with someone they met using those services. That means that one third of online daters have never turned their online activities into offline romance. But majority-wise, people are very willing to meet the person offline. Daters are motivated to construct online versions of self that are attractive to potential romantic partners. Daters created profiles that reflected an ideal as opposed to actual self, reconciling their conflicting needs for positive self-presentation and accuracy. So what do people mostly lie about? According to a 2014 report by OkCupid, an online dating site, they found that height is one of the top three things American men lie about on online dating sites, while women are more likely to lie about their weight and build. People are 20% poorer than they say they are. The dating site also found that over a third of the hottest photos on the site are a year old or more, and that 80% of self-identified bisexuals are only interested in one gender. On the other hand, online daters are also pressured to present themselves accurately because of the following. They run the risk of alienating potential partners if their online profiles are judged as too inaccurate upon meeting. Most people desire partners who will understand and appreciate them as they truly are, rather than an idealized version inconsistent with reality. Being honest is a cherished aspect of one's self-concept, and outright deception can challenge the self-view. That's just the beginning, though, after putting up your profile online. If you're lucky, you'll soon find a match, which then comes the first date. That means your date is willing to meet up and give each other a chance to know each other better. The second date is a good sign too, because that usually means that things have gone well enough and now it's a good time to really look at the compatibility and chemistry. The second date is really like your second first date, with the awkwardness behind you. So let me tell you a story of my friend. I've once encouraged him to try online meeting and see how things would go from there. But he seemed reluctant and said, I think meeting people and getting to know someone is difficult and takes time, and online seems to be one more barrier to overcome. Actually, you'll notice that there's really no difference than going on dates with someone you met offline, such as a friend of a friend. You follow the general principles such as learning to listen, focusing on your expression and receptive skills, and deciphering each other's body language. All of these principles are, in fact, what's being taught throughout this course. We've already emphasized numerous times on how everyone has needs and that you must understand your own needs to be able to know the type of relationships you should be engaged in. What your expected end result of meeting someone online is usually identical to when you meet someone in other ways. Also, it is important to know the person that you're interacting with and what their needs are because you would also have to meet that person's needs in a relationship. In the end, there's really no difference in developing a relationship with someone you met online or offline. You simply follow the same scripts and game plan that you may have. Be sure to continue checking our course out on ways to manage your relationships. Good luck!